Nah, after we back, we'll be able to one shot everything. Just like that, we beat a broken champion. Don't blink. All in. Just my style. Mundo, who who are you calling, Mundo? Who's on the phone? <clears throat> Who's on the phone, Mundo? Who's on the phone? I'll start going back where my sensei of K. <laughs> Don't want to take a lot of damage. All that ability on uh, Vlad. We have to make sure he doesn't heal. We have to make sure he's like scared now. We're not gonna use our Q at all because if we lose, use our Q. There it is. Alright, yeah, we're in a good spot now. Karagas is right here. Oh my god. In some lanes, people junglers have to understand that like <clears throat> this lane is annoying for Echo, but if you give him like one early game gank, he ha he finally has lane prio for you. <clears throat> and because we had lane prio there, we just were able to kill the guys. <laughs> no, yeah, you want to trade with Vladimir when, when his pool is on cooldown. The problem is, is that you go you also got to play around his um. You also got to play around his uh, his super heal cooldown as well. And the problem, another problem is, is that it's kind of hard to kill him early game. So like, you might just waste your mana fighting him and then never kill him. Okay, I dematted three milli minions. I want to see if that makes you have an insane wave clear. I want to see if I can like one shot the minions at like level seven. Because <laughs> if you can one shot the melee minions at like level seven, that's gonna be kind of nutty. Wow, he didn't. Okay, see, this Vladimir is different from the other Vladimir we played. The other Vlad Vladimir would have pulled right there. That's why I'm out. Okay, so this guy doesn't pull instantly. Ah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There's it. There it is. Oh my god, wait, that's actually a pretty easy way clear. Holy crap. Wait, did you see how like I'm one shotting them? Wait, maybe we're onto something here. Yeah, 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 the passive one shotting the melees. 
A level five. That's pretty big! Cause I can't even watch out the back line yet. Well, I, I, I would have been able to one shot the. I gotta test it. I'm just trying to see, like, what if you do, because this is 12%, maybe 9% is enough? I'll play around with it, because... Interesting. This gives you a super wave clear. This gives you literally super wave clear. Guys. Like super wave clear. Now after we back, we'll be able to one shot everything. Just like that, we beat a broken champion. I might get free boots soon now. At 9.45. Uh, I could still... I'll just go this. I'll have it in time. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that girl, I guess was like... Whoop! He went... Whoop! <laughs> he completely missed. First strike doesn't go on cooldown if you get while you have a shield. If you get hit, no, I, it goes on cooldown as long as you're in combat and they hit you first. Now let's test this wave clear. Maybe I, I think I think the new thing is is maybe two melee and one ranged because I don't think you need that much on melee because. We hit him first. It might be a two melee one range, because like honestly, because if you have if you have one on ranged, you probably need like a hundred AP, maybe like a hundred five AP to one shot the back line, which is also doable. Well, I just need it. So, without any DMATs on backline, you need 120 AP. 120 AP guarantees it. With, with two DMATs on range, you need 88 AP. So, I'm assuming if you, if by like averages, if you have one on backline, you probably need like a hundred, like maybe five or like a hundred something like that AP to one shot. But the melee minions. Having at least one on the melee minions helps you just get that one tap like this. That's very nice to have the one tap guaranteed. Okay, I don't have Futures Market this game. Plus 10. I don't got futures market this game. Look at my CS though. D match diff. D match diff.
I thought Kendra had R. If Kendra pressed R, I would have committed harder, but she didn't use R. <laughs> See, early game? Early game with first strike before you get your proto belts? You usually get like... You usually get like an assist, an assist worth of gold. Like an, an extra 150 gold, right? It's not crazy, right? It's not crazy. But now, now that we got a portal belt at 11 minutes, watch this. Look how much gold we're about to get. One trade. Although we have to make sure like it's not Vladimir because he'll just pull and negate us. But if, 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 if it's anybody else, we'll see. So we're at 150 gold right now. It's basically a free assist. But now that we have portal belt, like I said, first strike comes online around like the 12 minute mark. Look how much gold we'll get on this guy. Oh, he slowed me. 50 gold. 50 gold and I, I couldn't finish my passive. 50 gold and I didn't... Watch out for Vlad. So just like that, we gained an extra 80 gold for those kills. And I, did I need to electrocute? No. It just, it just slowly adds up gold and adds up gold and adds up gold and adds up gold. All it does, just slowly adds up gold. Yeah, every time you don't take future marker, you miss it. But it's like, the wave clear is kind of nutty actually. To be able to like one tap the melee minions helps your wave clear so hard. It's actually pretty useful. And probably, it's probably even better in a game where like you're not as fed and that extra damage just makes wave clearing so easy. That was probably one of the first times that I got like a multiple hit with Proto Belt ever since. Like, see, right now I would have had a Lich Bane, but now I don't. But. Gotta watch those back timers. This man makes a hard argument for using first strike or electrocute. Honestly, I think it's less first strike and more of the ability that you get to use the inspiration tree and the and the and the sorcery tree. Because like like we said before, like the domination tree is not that good, and inspiration helps you for early game. And sorcery helps you for like scaling. Actually, they both help you for scaling, but I feel like inspiration is good for early game. You could even use like biscuits and stuff, you know? And even if you want to use time or tonic, you use time or tonic. But I don't think those are that good for scaling wise. But this is like a must. Like having absolute focus gathering storm in like the in like season in this season is so important. Because, like, you need that extra AP to one shot through shield. I think I. Oh, 78 gold! Well, plus, th plus 5. 83 gold for not even killing Vladimir. I never kill him there. But I just got half an assist. And I'm gonna keep doing that over and over and over again until I get my items faster. You know? It's only at, like, what? A 19 second cooldown right now. Half of my protobelt cooldown. And if you go with domination with electric you can't even go inspiration. I mean, you can't go inspiration or you can't go sorcery. So one of them is gone. <clears throat> and I and like I said, inspiration and sorcery, like the minor trees, are are just better than domination. Look at that, I can do it again. Oh, well. 
<laughs> 68 gold. Wait, was that 69 gold? <laughs> he said 69. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't even mean to do that. I got money for it, though. And you still get 10% more damage, right? So it still gives you stuff. A little bit of extra damage. 10% is <laughs> not a lot, but it's 10% towards everybody for that three seconds. So if you think about it, you could do more damage to several people, whereas Electric is just one person. It's not 10% true damage. It will be true damage if you have pure magic pen. I'm so fast. Yeah, it's not true damage. It's regular, just 10% more damage. Wait, it's true damage based on post mitigation damage. I don't know what that means. I have a Fiora in the vicinity. The only champion on the main team that can really deal with me is Fiora. Because she has one item. I may have three items, but she has one item. So we have to be careful. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Fiora has one item, so we have to be careful. You know? We, ha we have three and a half, but she has one item, so we have to be careful. <laughs> Echo's broken. I'm so fast because of Lich Bane and Medjai's movement speed plus uh, magical footwear. I kill Fiora. What is that enemy team? I am too fast! I am too fast! That's why Lich Bane is good. That's why I like Lich Bane movement speed. The CDR and the movement speed help you like catch everybody. <laughs> Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! I think she could like kill them though. Oh my god. Set saved the day, I swear. Set literally saved the day. She actually, like, I told her to kill them. I'm telling you, one item. Oh, two items now. Look how much gold. Like, I'm doing a sh I have a, a lot, a lot of damage now, so look how much damage I get bonus now. Where is he going? for any hips now.
Gold. 50 gold. I want more monies. I want more first strike monies. Oh wow, look at this. This is like a perfect game. We have, basically have 10 CS per minute. We have perfect KDA. Oh, first strike. <laughs> I got. Help! My KDA! That's not good, that's Baron. Wait. Run to base. I ha. Oh, I don't have. There's R. That's good. That's a solo queue. Okay!